guys. Renee Fouché here. Hey guys! <laughs> Alright, hey guys, it's Renee Fouché here, and I have been trying to figure out what to cook for like two hours now. And if you saw my post on Facebook and you didn't reply to me, thanks a lot for all of your suggestions. Um, luckily, Tiffany Graham did reply, but she had the same idea as me, which was Asian food, which I almost did. However, I did not have um, the ingredients that I needed. So I'm just making a quick um, stew chicken. So there's my pot. It has some oil. That is brown sugar, guys, and it is getting brown. You're going to want some um, chicken, which I'm going to throw in here. This is a last-minute thing, yeah? So here we go. My, ch my, my brown sugar is getting just right. You want it to be just before burnt level, and then drop that chicken in, okay? So give me a second. Let me drop the chicken in. All right, so chicken was in this bowl. It was some chicken breast that I had already chopped up and seasoned. Um, well, clean and seasoned because since some of y'all don't realize, you do need to clean the chicken. Um, so I've cleaned the chicken. I have used my seasonings, you know, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, black pepper, paprika, a little cayenne powder, some seasoned salt, a little adobo, right? So started at the bottom. Now it's here. So here we are. It's in the pot and now it is getting nice and brown with our brown our burnt sugar but you don't want to burn it because that will make your chicken very very bitter all right so if you do it and you, your brown sugar gets too burnt that means you probably need to start over again because you're going to spoil the whole pot um, right at that moment so I'm wondering if that is enough for my awesome family and I'm thinking probably a no so we're gonna throw some more in there make sure my heat is high enough not accustomed using gas stove haven't used a gas stove in a while but I can adapt right and I'm gonna leave some separate my daughter just wants some plain sauteed chicken because she is special all right so that's what we're looking like there let me just wash my hand real quick Hopefully y'all can see while I still wash my hands with soap. I am very particular in the kitchen when it comes to the washing of the hands and the cleanliness of things. Um, and you know, <clears throat> that's just me. So if I come to your house and I decline food, it's probably, you know, don't take it personal. I'm just very particular. Right, so this side of the chicken is not quite cooking up how I want it to but basically you're just gonna get let all your chicken brown um, beyond this I'm gonna just drop some things in it probably like some onion um, a little scallion maybe some carrot I don't know this is kind of just <laughs> what we call a little cook up something so I am browning the chicken the best I can once it's all brown I'm gonna throw my other little bits and pieces in there and then I'm going to cover this pot, lower the heat, and let it cook. And um, there you go, people. Brown, well, let me explain. I, my family is Trini. However, I have uh, been around a lot of Jamaicans in my lifetime. And so I do know how to make Trini stew chicken and also Jamaican brown stew chicken. And they're actually two different um, cooking methods. So this method that we're doing right here is just um, Trini. Uh, stew chicken and if it was a Jamaican brown stew chicken um, we would not have had the sugar we would have taken the um, chicken and actually fried it in the oil and I'll probably do another video on that one day when I'm cooking it um, and I'm not showing myself in this video people because you know I work at home and I haven't combed my hair all day and so I'm not gonna be on the camera right now so just enjoy the the, the pot too bad we don't have smell of vision because then you would know how lovely it smells in here right now. Um, yeah, but basically with the Jamaican um, brown stew chicken, you would fry the chicken um, in oil, not deep fry it, but just enough oil in the pan. You would brown the chicken in the oil. Once it was just brown on all sides, you actually remove it from the oil, drain the oil out. 
um, just leaving a very little bit in the pan. Return your chicken to the pan, and you're going to add um, onion, scallion, um, thyme, a little bit of pimento seed probably, um, a little bit of pepper, um, and then a little bit of the mushroom soy sauce for browning. Um, that's how they get their brown stew chicken. Trini's brown with um, burnt sugar. The Jamaicans tend to brown it with just the oil and then with the soy sauce. So anyway, um, there's our stew chicken. Hopefully I'll remember to show it to you when it's actually done done. But look how lovely that looks. You got your smell the vision ready, people? Um, that's it, Rene Fouché. And hopefully I'll come back maybe when I throw the stuff in there. All right? Okay, so my special child um, wants some kind of not stew chicken, so I'm just going to saute some chicken for her. So here's the pan, has a little bit of olive oil, going to drop some butter in there, alright, oh, can you guys even see what's happening? I don't know, because I'm trying to film and cook at the same time, so I'm off to see it doesn't have these problems. and butter. Of course, my chicken is already seasoned up. And so now we're just going to throw it in. This is probably going to be more than enough. It's going to be like too much for her. So now I'm going to have some of this too. There for me. saute this chicken and that's really all she wants to saute chicken. I'm going to put this down because of course I want to throw some um, onion and some garlic in here. So uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, so there's the saute chicken. Um, it just has some onions. I didn't do the garlic and I'm going to give you guys a really good tip. This was kind of quick throw together kind of food. But um, what a really good tip is to take the garlic and then you take it and saute it in that olive oil butter mixture that I had going on there, right? And then it flavors the oil so that when you throw the chicken in there, it would pick up that flavor. I didn't really feel like chopping garlic because I got other things to do. Um, so she's just going to get this sauteed chicken and onion, whatever. Hopefully it browns a little bit. It's kind of light skin for my liking. Um... So that's what's going on there. I'm trying to find a pot holder over here so that I can um, give you guys a peek at the stew chicken, which is happening over here. Ooh, doesn't that look lovely? Oh, yeah. So all I did was throw some onion and carrots because, once again, you know, laziness took over. And I actually have an event to go get ready for. So I'm just trying to throw together some food so at least I can eat a little bit of something. I don't know if they're going to have anything there. But my grandmother always used to say, you know, eat before you go. This way you don't look all greedy when you get there and you're still waiting 30, 40 minutes for people to serve food. You're not dying of starvation. You know, you had a little something before you go. Eat something before you go. That's another story. But, um, yeah. So saute chicken, brown soup chicken. There's a pot back there. I'm going to throw some rice. And um, uh, maybe some corn. Who knows? So that's it. And hope you guys are cooking something lovely too. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, if I left anything out. You know, this is not Food Network. This is um, Renee's YouTube channel. So doing what I want. And yeah, that's it, folks. Uh, yeah. Bye. All right, so the chicken got a little tan. We're gonna dip a little bit of, I think this is Moscato. Ooh, in the pan. And we glaze it a little bit. Hopefully my brother and no one sees this video and sees what I'm doing with their alcohol. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared of that, so. Ooh, we can leave that out. 